You couldn't be any more nervous than I am. Uh, <laughs> um, hi, everybody. Uh, before I get started with my remarks, I've been asked by Kurt, bear with me, Kurt, to, uh, to ask my fellow graduates three final questions, just to make sure they were all paying attention during the past seven months. He tells me that our graduation certificates have been held pending our answers to these questions, so be careful. <laughs> these questions were apparently not included in our final exam, and our fate is now in the hands, in his hands. Good luck to all of us. Here are the, the questions are true or false questions, so you don't have to write anything down. Uh, and this is not an open book test. <laughs> Number one, true or false. Sioux Indians designed the world's first blueprint. True. Unfortunately, a white man couldn't read the directions, at least that's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. The Pythagorean theorem is Amir's favorite bedtime story. <laughs> Remember, these are true or false. <laughs> and at last but not least, Arrogant Bastard is the world's best beer. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, please write your answers on a piece of paper and submit them to Kurt at the conclusion of the ceremony. <laughs> Out of the subject at hand, our newfound acquisition of what I promise you is one of life's most valuable gifts in education. We have spent a continuous five days a week over the last seven months with all of our fellow students, as well as the great instructors we've had and the wonderful staff at MTMA. I feel that all of you have become a second family to me and I already miss being part of this program. However, I would suggest to my fellow students that this accomplishment, uh, which we have just completed, is only the beginning. I would challenge each of us to make this the beginning of the rest of our lives. The certificate we received today and all those beautiful projects in those cases over there, uh, we can take and show them to prospective employers and they, they will get us in the door. They will even be enough to encourage the employer to hire us. What those things will not do is guarantee that we have a job to keep. Our challenge is to continue the process of learning to be the best machinist we can, especially after we have that new job. I've worked for many companies over the years and even owned my own business. I've learned throughout those years to go to work every day with these two things in mind. Number one, try to learn at least one new skill every day. If you think about it, a skill a day will make you pretty knowledgeable, and more importantly, it will make you a valuable employee. Number two, treat the company you work for as if it was your own company. It's the kind of like the golden rule that some of us learned in Sunday school way back when. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If you do your job with the idea of making your employer money, instead of with the idea of them making you money, I can pretty much guarantee that you that they will value and reward you. Take it from one who knows from experience, it is never too late to learn a new trick. One of the things that I'm most proud of with this accomplishment that I've just completed is that I can look at each of my beautiful grandchildren in the eye and show them that <laughs> with hard work and a passion for learning, even at a ripe old age, it's never too late to learn something new and start a new adventure. Having turned 21 three times now, even though many of my classmates are very <laughs> Having turned 21 three times now, even though many of my classmates have barely turned their first one, I made the decision to return to school and embark on a new adventure in my life with mixed feelings. One, on one hand, I'm at a stage in my life when most people my age are getting ready to pack it in and hit the road, hit the road into the sunset. On the other hand, I'm not ready to roll over and die either. I must admit that going back to school and starting a new career is not something I had planned on a few years ago. However, life sometimes throws a curve that you weren't expecting. When that curve comes and you don't back off, the best thing to do is give it your best swing. You never know what might happen. With my swing, I got lucky with a solid hit to the right field fence and found NTMA. It just goes to show you that it's not about your situation, it's about what you do with the situation you're in. I would like to close with one more thought. I'm a very lucky guy. I am blessed with a wife who is my best friend and who has supported this dream of mine. 
Not only that, but I'm fortunate to have a wonderful family who has also supported me along the way with their love. I'm forever grateful for all of them. With gratitude to MTMA and one of the best, and, and every one of the great instructors I have had, as well as all the fine staff members that work, each, work hard each and every day to do whatever it takes to give us a valuable education, I'm ready to take off on my next adventure. Thank you all very much.